Hey guys, what's up? I'm Strupel and now we are going to do guild boss fight. Yeah, with my guild ACDC. Yeah, ACDC. Small guild, but I don't care. We are a small, really great team. Getting a lot of shares. And we just like each other, we talk a lot. We are creating a quite good community. Everyone are happy in this guild. And this is the most important thing. I'm not satisfied with some big guilds. They have a lot of problems with many things. Now I'm just I'm not going to complain about them. I'm using quite strange setup. Mm. Because two elite heroes, none of them are stunners, but uh, both of these elites are slow downers, <laughs> if I can say something like this. So shaman, he has one five slowdown, not the best talent, but ice demon. I rolled him not so far ago. Mm. He has two five slowdown. And his proc, currently 2 of 9, is affecting uh, some troops, also boss, by 35% slowdown for 7 seconds. And I guess that this proc is stacking. Now you can see almost a perma stun boss, quite lucky with pumpkin duke stuns. And when boss is going to move, he's going to be very, very slow. Because a lot of slowdowns are going to stack. They are stacking currently. And we've got a almost 2 million damage. Not the best amount. But hey, my eyes demon is still alive. Why? Because he's first level. I'm not into leveling him up right now, but maybe I will for increasing damage. Mm, and someone, I leveled up him to 20 level, so I have to spend gems for revives. Yeah. Sadly, I haven't thought about mm, keeping him at uh, first level, so it was my mistake. And now, right now, I'm trying to do full 3 minute fight without Cupid. Boss 3. This is a really, really, this will be a really big achievement for me. And I think for all castle, castle clashers. Because it's something new in game, in this game. Of course, it depends also on luck from heavy blow. But I guess that every single player has at least one hero with heavy blow. By the way, there was a really really great idea for a uh, boss tune uh, connected with heavy blow. So, as example, um, there's a lot of uh, heavy blow heroes like let's say just two heroes with heavy blow we've got one of five heavy blow and five of five heavy blow so now my heroes are very close to the boss and if one of five heavy blow goes then after one second or half after one I guess I'm not sure right now but Boss is going to wake up and kill all of my heroes with his proc. Just as an example of some common mm, not best players in this game with 8 star, 9 star heroes. So, the main idea of this is to make this circle animation of tune uh, with some colors. For example, 
3 seconds boss tune is going to be green color 2 seconds boss tune, boss tune is going to be orange color and 1 second is going to be red color so we will know exactly how long um, chain tune will continue for how long and we'll know if we should quit right now because after one second boss will wake up or he will wake up after three seconds so it will avoid losing a lot of uh, gems from uh, for revives but to be honest I'm not sure if IGG wants to lose their shirts yep because players will spend gems for revives this is like a money machine this is their income and everyone wants to have some profit especially if this is their job so maybe they will do something like this because even full they are not getting too many or too much uh, too big profit from just uh, gems spent for revives because we are not reviving our heroes too often I think that we just spend gems more for getting new heroes and doing stuff like this and throwing for talents of course but I'm sure that it's um, giving them some money, of course. Maybe they will be so grateful and change this at this uh, future in game. Maybe not. Now I'm beating my new record. It was over one minute fight. Still not three minutes, but. I am very close to the sound. Very, very close. I hope that maybe I will be able to finish this, accomplish this, achieve, get this achievement today. But maybe not. Because uh, my, t my guild mates are defeating boss very fast. Sometimes it just mm, takes us 10 minutes to defeat boss 3. We've got uh, two really um, big boss hitters that can do boss free full free minute fight with only legendary heroes, no elites or um, ordinary heroes, stunners. Or maybe Brick, I'm not sure. Brickle is probably using Executioner, but um, he leveled up him, so he's getting higher damage. Mm, than normally and of course with Cupid all heroes are doing 35,000 damage it's capped and it doesn't matter what hero is it all heroes are attacking very fast due to all Pumpkin Duke and Cupid procs so they have incredibly really high attack speed and all of them are doing 35,000 damage mm. actually this is my best score in just uh, 10 minutes almost 10 minutes over 12 million because first time I'm using this strategy with shaman and Ice Demon at once. I rolled this Ice Demon from 3 600 gems. Wow, I was very surprised because IGG promised, um, has promised us some gems from maintenances and problems connected with server. Uh, you know, this uh, problems that we cannot, that we couldn't log in or connection problems. Yeah, just stuff like that. And we didn't receive this mm, all gems. So they just mm, 
told us that they will uh, give us this uh, give us this gem soon, and they did. After few maintenances, but finally, so I won't complain. I'm very happy. Even though I haven't rolled uh, Cupid, maybe I will buy gems on next Cupid event with Smashing X. This is pretty funny because Easter was two weeks ago. Maybe three, I'm not sure right now. But we had another pumpkin event connected with Smashing Eggs. What the heck? Smashing Eggs in May? This is pretty funny for me, but... Ah, as I said, this is their income, they're earning a lot of money from this. And... Yeah, that's their job. They have to do something to earn money and and live. They want to live like normal people or maybe like a millionaires. But it's still our uh, still our mm, mm, how to say it thing that we want to achieve in our life. Do what we like to do, earn a lot of money and be happy. Some of them maybe enjoy playing this game. I saw a lot of people in live support that told me that they love this game and that's why they support it. But some of the mm, live supporters are just very annoying answering like machines of course they have to uh, write some answers mm, like all the time same answer but to be honest some of them can be just like a normal people giving us normal answers not all the time answering that they don't know or mm, may I ask you if you have any other Castle, castle clash issues or problems and all the time questions like that. I'm asking them si simple question and they they are telling me that they don't know or they cannot answer me. And then they are just asking me again if I want to have if I want to ask them another questions. So they are still really mm, great people in life support. And also, of course, some of them that I don't like, to be honest. But that's their job. Some of them enjoy playing Castle Clash. Some of them are just working. So, as you can see, boss is going to end soon. I'm not able to uh, fight full 3 minutes. Boss is becoming very very slow. It's almost there. I'm almost there. But still, he's still walking. He's still coming closer to my shaman. And that's the, one of the reasons why I cannot fight for Freeman right now. I would be so happy if my mm, shaman or Mm, Ice Demon, to be honest, is a range hero, yeah. But his range is not so big like Shaman range. I was trying to tank with Ice, Ice Demon, but as you can see... Fuck. Where was this change to? As you can see, he has to be very close to attack. Maybe he's not range hero, I don't know. This is very confusing in this game about range hero and normal heroes melee but I cannot tank with him oh 17 million and second place wow today I received almost 10,000 honor badges my pumpkin is waiting for me 8 star pumpkin 7 of 9 4 of 5 heavy blow 
just waiting for over 4000 damage almost 2000 HP more it's 1000 and a half he'll be just a little bit faster but it's never bad in arena And now I will show you my Ice Demon. Yep, and Shaman, of course. So, this is my Ice Demon. It has 2 of 5 slowdown. Slowdown has always 25% chance to reduce enemy speed. So, this is quite a lot. Once every 4 attacks, he will probably reduce. Uh, attack speed and of course moving speed and it's it can be also a combo this uh, this talent can um, can stack yeah can stack like pumpkin dukes uh, proc so the boss is becoming slower and slower and now let's see at uh, this thing. This is his normal skill called Ice Folk. It decreases move speed of 8 random enemies. Who cares? There is only one boss. Maybe still doing uh, at tier 4, 5 and 6 with more bosses or any other ideas. I don't know but for now I don't care about this part and this. By 35% for 7 seconds wow so the, also this skill is going to stack this skill is stacking, this one is stacking and now I will show you also my shaman uh, talent and this is 2 of 9 before it was only 30% but still a lot and if I'm not wrong, 5 of 5 slowdown, <laughs> I think that I had such a hero with this talent before. <laughs> wow, I was so stupid that I consumed him. It's 30? Uh, no, 75% of slow uh, for 5 seconds. That's so amazing if it can stack that could be overpowered for boss 3 and especially with cupid if you have a cupid you don't care about your mm, hero what is it he's going to attack boss at 35,000 damage because it's capped so and also my shaman where are you my sweetie no, it's not this one with 4, four or 5 enlighten. I'm just giving uh, heroes with uh, good talents. Not always good as a talent, but higher um, ammo right there. Basically, 4 or 5, 4 or 5, and 5 or 5 are giving you more might. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if this is revitalized 5 or 5 or. 5 or 5 blade shell. It's giving you the same amount of might higher than 4 or 5. So it's also helpful if you want to increase your might. Oh, it's not this one. Again, I clicked on the same and here we go. 20 level. I made a mistake. I should keep him at uh, first level to do not lose chance for revives. And he has only one of five slowdown. I have no more any heroes with slowdown. Yeah. That's not lucky. But as you can see, I'm I'm taking a second place in boss fight. And I'm happy with that. Second place is still better than third, fourth. And 
out of top 10 in big guilds especially what's my guild rank oh we are far far from top 100 but in most uh, top guilds Tarknik um, even from my ranking there are most of the normal players are out of top 10 in my guild you can see players with just uh, less than 200,000 damage are in top 10 getting almost 4,000 honor badges that's a lot and players doing only 2 million damage are getting 5,000 honor badges sorry guys but I have run in those I just said Okay, I'm back. Maybe this is uh, spring and summer, all the stuff flying in VR. Mm, I mean, allergy. But I'm not sure. So, continuing. Uh, doing only 2 million damage gives you 5000 uh, honor badges. And I'm getting almost 10,000. Yeah, that's pretty great amount of honor badges I'm also getting honor badges from daily rewards it will be 2000 soon I'm also getting uh, honor badges from arena of course let's do some arena battles now I suck a lot of that and in arena because you can use six heroes, yeah. And that's not the best option for me. Because basically enemy mm, have now more HP. They have more high level heroes. I was only leveling basically five of my heroes. Now I'm trying to level all of them, level up all of them. In DPS, I'm not always winning because take a look 100 level Sakubus, 120 level Ninja. They are capped, but soon, very very soon, I will purchase a um, few thousand gems. I don't know still how much, how many of uh, gems. And I will receive a spirit match. Oh, I'm going to lose this one. I'm sure. I will receive a spirit match, and of course, 50,000 mm, 50, honor badges. And maybe in coming soon future, I will get 80,000 honor badges because when you purchase. 90,000 gems in overall, you're getting 80,000 honor badges. Yeah, that's very, very great. But I thought that, wow, so many gems. Now I'm so close to get Spirit Match, and my Notar is still so far from, from me. Okay, let's try something like this. This is my new tactic. When I know enemy line, I'm using champion in front and in the, at the back using Thunder God and Thunder God and uh, Pumpkin Duke. So, two stunners are going to stop enemies 
Damn, I lost my succubus. God damn it. Ah. I hate pretty much pro boofed by pumpkin dude. So now I'm without any chances. Ah, I'm not going good in arena. In nowadays before, I was able to go get into mm, top 300. Yeah, I still have a screenshot of my score. 303, if I'm not wrong, that was my uh, best score. Uh, for which I have a proof. As you can see, always I have. Um, I'm just uh, 2,800 gems from split match. And now a lot of people will start asking me, "Hey, you can just tap joy these gems?" Oh, tap joy is a big scammer. Yeah, they scam people a lot. They are giving you fake offers. And you are not receiving any reward for them. I will make a video about Tapjoy, just about Tapjoy. And I will show you some screenshots of offers. Just down and run worth 70 or 100 gems that are not working. And therefore are doing this because these apps have a lot of advertisements these apps are um, created by Tabjoy from another account we are downloading these apps to get a lot of gems in hope of getting these gems and we are watching their advertisements so that's the first source of their money. We are downloading applications. That's the second source. And third is that this is offer from Tabjoy. So, just simply, fuck you Tabjoy. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos, just write in comments below with some ideas for new videos and I have uh, some new ideas for new series not about games but you will see soon so if you want to um, do not miss end of my videos just subscribe hit like button and stay tuned till next time Srupel